remember this road, now we're going back to Main Street or whatever. We have like 45 minutes more to kill until I want to start getting a line for Bentleyville. Yes, Bentleyville is a light show in Duluth, Minnesota, and we go pretty much every year. Are we gonna go now? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, are we gonna go to Bentleyville next year, maybe? Yes. If uh, I'd be more down if you can walk. Like, the driving is like, I'd still like to do it, but it's not as, I don't know. It's like with driving, you don't know if you'll be able to get in, but with, with walking, as long as you found a parking spot, you're guaranteed to get in. Bentleyville's pretty popular, so it's all really, it's always really crowded. And obviously with COVID, can't really do that right now. So they made like a drive through and hopefully we can get in today because we tried last time and it was really crowded and really backed up. So I guess we'll see. There was no line at 2.30 almost an hour ago. So I don't know, I'm hopeful even though yeah. Sure. There's a lot of people coming down here. There's a lot of people that, you know, were driving with us from like the St. Paul area. Yeah. So I'm, I'm suspicious. That's where all the oh, oh. <laughs> those people are going. Yeah. And so they're just trying to kill can. some time. Right. And it snowed pretty bad. There was a snowstorm the other day, so there's really not too much to do. I don't want this guy going. But like you know, it. some of us don't want to sit in the house all day. Yeah, I, I need to. I need to do something. I can't. Yeah. So I'm just cruising around the loop, having some fun. There we go. Now we're just gonna kill some time for a little while, I guess. Yep, killing time. <laughs> I would like to get gas. I don't know how long we're gonna be in line. Five o'clock. Well, I want to be there in like 40 minutes in line. They'll suck it dark then, so. Yeah. Maybe we can figure something out. Yeah, hopefully. Now we're at the car wash because my boyfriend is a huge car head and um, he wants to make sure that like the headlights aren't covered with like sleet or snow or anything that way when we drive back in the night because technically you know daylight savings by five o'clock it's pretty dark outside so when we drive back for like two hours to get home he wants to make sure that we can see and that the headlights are clear so now we're in Duluth in a car wash his favorite place to be look oh <laughs> so yeah he's cleaning off his car and whatever yeah. I suppose I'll film while I'm just sitting here while he cleans his car. But I guess a little update on me being a pre kindergarten teacher. I'm loving it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm loving being a pre kindergarten teacher as I knew I would. Um, it's always been a battle between do I want to be a kindergarten teacher or do I want to be a pre-kindergarten teacher But I've had my experiences with both and then some and more but Honestly, it comes back to being a pre-kindergarten teacher pre-kindergarten. I love the age group I love the curriculum. I love the people that I work with which is something I was actually really concerned about I didn't know like I don't know long story, but I've worked around a lot of people that are catty and love to you know be in the middle of drama and I really did not want to have to deal with stuff and people like that um my first year teaching so luckily I got lucky I love everybody in the building everybody's so nice it's like my home away from home and it's exactly what I've always wanted <laughs> okay I love being able to do what I love I love my kids I love the families even though you know it's COVID, so <laughs> it's COVID, so it's hard to make those connections, but I'm somehow making these connections through our app. I love the curriculum and being able to basically use my creativity to make plans on what we're gonna do. I love teaching my kids about important issues and holidays and stuff. People might think like, aren't they a little too young to be learning stuff about that? No, in my opinion, children are never too young to learn about stuff like that. I feel like when they're young, 
they notice differences between people. They, I mean, duh. It's obvious they notice differences about people. Um, but I feel like it's very important, especially while they're young, to learn about acceptance and the different people that are in the world and, you know, stuff like that. Because then they'll grow up and they'll learn more about it, hopefully. <laughs> they'll hopefully learn to be kind to people and accept that people are different. So yeah, so far, I'm loving my job. And I know in a recent vlog, I said that I wasn't sure if I'm gonna go back to school yet, but I think I'm finally gonna pull the plug and go back to school. Oh, I think he's done. All right, I'm gonna cut this short, bye. Oh, excuse me. Coming up on Bentleyville. Here's the line. This is better than the last time we came. <laughs> Doesn't open until five o'clock on the dot. Yep. What is this guy trying to do? And we already confused. got a little line forming. But last time we were like all the way back there. And then some. Yeah, what is Buddy doing? I think he's trying is he trying to get a spot? He just turned around trying to cut people off. Progress. There's people over here already pulling in. It's not even five o'clock. It's four thirty one. So maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. What do you think? I'm, I'm happy I can see it. If I can see it, then I know we're for sure gonna get in. It's gonna be decently quick. Right. I, I thought it was, I thought the line would be longer actually. But. I mean, behind us it probably is by now, but. But yeah, we're super early and hopefully we get to go in. Where, where are these people going? Stay six feet away from the car in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not happening over there. You see all them cars bumper yeah. to bumper. <laughs> so cute. Oh, look at the fire. <laughs> the little reindeer, so cute. <laughs> well, yeah, we are in a super long line for Bentleyville. But at least we got in, so we secured our spot. There's no turning around now. To experience the magical music of Bentleyville, turn your radio station to 91.7 FM. I don't think theirs is like the 91. other one. 91.7? No. 90, Hello? 97.1? 91.7. 91. 91. <laughs> Jesus. 91.7. I'm over here like, I know what I'm talking about. No. I don't think theirs is like the one that we went to though. I don't know if that's... Where it, it like, it's synchronized. The lights are synchronized in the music. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think so. It's, it's just you drive. It's like the drive. Oh, I'm like, where are you going? We're gonna get a hot cocoa. Can you go back? A mocha. The hot cocoa made me sleepy. <laughs> Had the nerve to scare me awake, buddy. I'm happy that we're actually in. Now so, I just hope that the lights are worth it. I, I mean, I, mean, I can already see some of them, but... Yeah, but for as long as the wait that it is, I hope it's... I hope it's fabulous. It's fabulous and as long... Not as long, but as many lights as it normally would be or more. There he goes. Back to his piss break. I, oh, she locked him out. The, Santa's up. Is that the Grinch or Santa? That looks like Grinch. To make Bentleyville a drive through a temporary roadway was built to accommodate the vehicle's 11 semi-loads of material. Hmm. Where are these people going? Probably to the potty. With no mask. Oh god, here comes the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> he just closed the window like, no. The lights on. Can't really see much from where we are, but I'll definitely film. <laughs>